us a little bit about the backstory of uh, of what happened to your house. Uh, and well, we, like about 1,750 other people, were affected by the fires in October of 2007. Um, we were the only people in our neighborhood to lose our house, and we lived here for 24 years. And we were pretty devastated. It was our home. It was the only home our children had ever known, and now it's gone. So we spent six months, you know, dealing with the insurance issues, and then um, spent about another four months, five months in the city, trying to get a imperfect set of plans through plan check. And once we got very close to that, we decided to find a contractor, and we wanted one that could get us home as quickly as possible. Many of the contractors we talked to said, oh, 10 months to a year. Then we met Ron, and Ron said, I'll have you home in six months. We didn't believe him, but at least we thought we had a better shot at it than anybody else. And uh, the house that he was in the process of building, he had done, it was the type of quality that we were looking for, and we were very impressed with what we saw. And when we spoke to the owners, they said that he had given them a six-month deadline, and they were just about, as, you know, they're right on schedule, and they were planning to be back in their house in six months. So we decided to take a shot, and we started construction on July 1st, 2008, and we moved in January of 2009. So he did it, he did it well, and we couldn't be happier. With the so uh, how, how much is the uh, the square footage actually over here? 4230. 4230? Mm -hmm. And uh, how did you find Ron? Amazing. Oh. <laughs> Probably the best word I can use to describe him. Um, I think the thing that impressed me the most about Ron was his ability to make nothing into something. He worked very, very diligently. He was honest. He said he was going to do something. He did it. And that was by far the most important thing to my husband and I. What uh, was your budget requirements and how was it met? Um, we didn't really have a budget. We had a set of, pl of plans that were very bad. Gave them to Ron and we didn't really know how much it was going to cost to build the house, so we were kind of going at it backwards. But we gave a set of plans to Ron and three other contractors, and Ron came in at the number we were kind of hoping to be able to build it by. So we didn't know a lot about him, but we had heard good things, so we went to meet him, and were very impressed the first time we saw him. He was on a job on a Sunday, working hard as usual. And he continued to do that on our job as well. About how much less was Ron compared to the other contractors? Oh, he was about $150,000 less than everybody else. What was your reaction to see that much we less? Didn't, we, we were very skeptical initially. We didn't think there was any, you know, that's a huge discrepancy. And we thought, could somebody really do this for that kind of money? And he explained to us how he did it. And we said, okay, we'll take, you know, we'll take our chances because we had spoken to the people whose home he was in the process of building at the time, and they said he was coming in at, you know, the exact budget that they gave him. Excellent. What's, uh, what have you noticed as far as the quality of the build of the house? Oh, that was by far the, the biggest thing that we wanted to accomplish was we had a house before. It was a nice house. It was a very nice house. But we knew what, what we wanted to improve. And everything we went to Ron with and said, okay, we don't want four by, uh, two by four walls. We want, you know, two by six. He said, oh no, I already bl planned on that. Uh, we wanted ten foot ceilings. He said, oh, I already planned on that. You know, everything that we wanted in, in terms of upgrading our home and the quality of our home, Ron had already prepared to do. It, it's just part of the way he does business. He doesn't just give you a cheap house. He puts a lot of effort and a lot of pride into his work. And it's very obvious, I think, when you look around to see.